I announced at the beginning of the week that we're having a 10 meter blast on FM. That we've worked out what the frequencies are, and I've got a list on on the screen here. Uh, well, I'll let you freeze frame, and you can have a look at that. But I'll be on 29 130. Uh, James says he's probably going to move. He thinks that might be too close, whatever. Because what I've done, oh, this is at one o'clock London time, whatever that is, UTC, that will be 12 o'clock, and it goes for two hours. So we'll still be on the air just before two o'clock um, UTC, right, which is three o'clock local. Now, I know very often we get some DX at that time. So if you hear us... You know, give a shout in, but I'll be on 29.130. Now, what, and I'll be da actually down, I'm not going to do remote, not on FM. I want to adjust squelch and things like that, nice and quickly, you know. But I have worked, I've got this, I don't even remember, I had a pump-up mast years ago from West Midlands Fire Brigade. They were giving three of them away there. They weren't allowed to sell them or something, I can't remember what the story was. I ended up with one. And it works fine. It only goes six metres, 21 feet or something. So I put a little stub mask in the top and I've got a prototype five eighths from the factory. Unfortunately, it's tuned for about 31 megahertz, but it does work on 29, right? I have spoken to the factory. They're making a couple more prototypes. I'm letting the cat out of the bag. What I wanted was something from 27 to 29 megahertz very very high efficiency okay now that's what we're working to because i want to use my own antenna on on 10 meters it should go down to 12 with the atu but i, I wanted 27 to 29 but this is about 30 to 32 at the moment i was blowing a gale yesterday so i couldn't finish the job finished it today i tested it out there was um for instance i dialed down to about 27 there wasn't much going on on 10 meters but there was a station i think he was a russian and i switched on the ab switch um well i've got eight eight coax lines in but between the two there's an s point in it all right so i'm getting an s point more on this thing than i am i am on my ground mounted vertical now the modeling suggests about 6 db is one s point about 6 db on a kenwood Kenwood 990 or 890? I don't know. I don't know how to look it up if anybody's done the thing. No idea. But anyway, so I'll be on FM. I'll probably do two, three hundred watts, so you probably better hear me. If you only got 10 watts I and you are far away, I might not hear you. But if you get up to like Clee Hill, Broadway Tower, anywhere like that, if you're in the Midlands, if you can, if you can do about 300 metres, then you should be able to get certainly James... He's sort of Swindon way. Stuart's down in Portsmouth. He might have to get very high for that. Tim can't make it. I've scrubbed him out. And on the day, I'll be able to tell you where James is. He's considering moving. I think maybe 160 or something. But it'd be fun to get Jonathan. I was going to go to the hills, but I, what I've decided to do is just, just do this at the factory. I mean, it's a bit of fun. I was going to stick it on the generator. That'll give me another three metres. And I spoke to Mike. It's about a, probably one to two dB more. But trouble is it would actually clear the buildings i don't know i'll make a decision about it tomorrow we'll use it on my live stream tomorrow and see how we get on all right so i'll see you on saturday that's saturday april the 20th if you're watching this in 10 years time it's gone it's in 2024 but in the meantime have a great day see you on the radio all right and let's have some fun on fm 10 meters bye for now